Hey, what's up guys, it's Seb from Workbench, and this week we're gonna explore an espresso setup for animating a clock. This week we're gonna take a look at creating a simple espresso setup for animating a clock. Here we go. So for this example, I created a basic clock out of parametric objects, a couple cylinders for the watch faces, a cloner set to radial for the minute ticks, another cloner set to radial for the hours. Then I created three boxes, each different sizes, one for the hour hand, one for the minute hand, and one for the second hand. Then I parented each to a null, leaving the hour and the minute hand in the dead center, and the second hand is in the center of my chrono. Then I created another null object and named it Espresso, just to keep things organized. So you can right click on the espresso, then I'm going to go to Cinema 4D Tags, Espresso. That creates an empty espresso group. Then I'm going to drag in the second hand, the minute hand, and the hour hand. And then I'm going to need two math nodes. So this is going to be the basic setup right here. So we're going to control everything with the second hand. So we're going to start off by taking the output of the second hand and piping it into the input of the math node. We're going to do that by clicking here, going to coordinates, rotation, rotation P. And then I'm going to pipe that into the input of the math node. We're going to set the math node to divide, and we're going to put 60 in the input. Then we're going to pipe the output of that into the minute hand, input, coordinates, rotation, P. Then we're going to take the output of the minute hand, again, coordinates, rotation, P, and pipe that into the second math node. We're going to set the math node to divide and set the input to 12. And then finally, we're going to take the output of that math node and pipe it into the hour hand, coordinates, rotation, rotation, P. And now if I rotate the second hand, you can see every 60 seconds, we get a minute. And if I keep rotating, every 60 minutes, we get an hour. So that's the entire setup. It's really pretty simple. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we do a new one every week. If you have any comments or questions, leave the comments down below. And if you'd like to help support what we do, go to patreon.com forward slash workbench and definitely check out the blog at workbench.tv. I'm Sev and we'll catch you next week.